Hello, tech enthusiasts. Welcome back to Tech Packs, the home of innovation and futuristic projects. Today, we're exploring something extraordinary, a project that takes security and convenience to a whole new level. Intrigued? Let's dive in. Vehicle theft is a growing problem, and traditional keys or remotes aren't cutting it anymore. That's why we at Tech Packs have designed an innovative solution to safeguard your vehicle. Say hello to the fingerprint-based vehicle control system, where your fingerprint becomes the ultimate key. Sounds exciting, doesn't it? All right, let me break it down for you. The purpose of this project is simple yet powerful, to make vehicles more secure and user-friendly. With this system, only authorized users can start or stop the vehicle. It's as easy as a touch, eliminating the need for traditional keys. Let's see the system in action with a step-by-step -step demo. Step one, powering on. When we switch on the model, the LCD welcomes us with biometric access vehicle control. Pretty sleek, right? First, we place an unregistered finger on the fingerprint sensor, and as expected, the system denies access, showing access denied. Step two, registering a fingerprint. To register, we press button one, and the system guides us through the registration process. Following the instructions on the screen, we successfully enroll our finger into the system. Step three, starts the vehicle. Now we place the registered finger on the sensor. The system recognizes it, grants access, and starts the vehicle. The display reads, vehicle started, indicate vehicle is started. Step four, stop vehicle. Using the same registered finger, we stop the motor by placing it on the sensor again. The system shuts it off and displays vehicle stopped. Step five, testing with another finger. We now try an unregistered finger. The system denies access again with access denied. To clear all registered data, we press button three to wipe the fingerprint database. Finally, we test the previously registered finger and as expected, the system denies access because the data has been cleared. And that's the full demo of our fingerprint-based vehicle control system in action. Now let's get to the fun part, the technology that powers this system. Here's a quick overview of the components. First up, the fingerprint sensor. This scans and verifies your fingerprint with high precision. Next, the Arduino Uno microcontroller. This acts as the brain of the system, handling all data processing and controls. We've got an LCD display to guide you through every step, like enrollment and access feedback. L298, motor driver, controls the motor that simulates the vehicle's ignition system, enabling real-world motor control. A motor simulates the vehicle's ignition system, giving you a real-world experience. A buzzer provides audible alerts, success, errors, or warnings. It's got you covered. Six and finally, push buttons for enrolling fingerprints or clearing stored data. Simple and user-friendly. Together, these components create a seamless, secure, and interactive system. It's like science fiction brought to life. Code overview. Our code is the heart of this project, seamlessly integrating a fingerprint sensor, LCD, motor control, and buzzer to create a secure and user-friendly system. Let's break it down step by step. Setup function. The setup function initializes everything. One, it starts the serial communication to debug and monitor system activities. Two, fingerprint sensor is initialized and checked for proper connection. Any error here halts the program. The LCD display is powered up to provide user feedback, starting with a welcome message, biometric access vehicle control. Four, input and output pins for switches, motor, and buzzer are configured. Why this setup? because every component needs to be properly initialized to ensure smooth operations from the get-go. Main loop. The loop function is where the magic happens, continuously listening for fingerprint matches enrollment requests, data clearing commands. Here's what it does. One, displays a waiting message on the LCD until a valid action occurs. Two, enroll mode is triggered with the enroll button starting the process of registering a fingerprint with a unique ID. Three, the clear data button erases all stored fingerprints to reset the system. What's the outcome? Continuous monitoring and dynamic response ensuring the system is always ready. Fingerprint enrollment. When enrolling a fingerprint, 
the get fingerprint enroll function is called. Here's how it works. One, the sensor scans the user's fingerprint and saves its unique features. Two, prompts like put your finger and remove finger guide the user through the process. Three, if successful, the ID is stored and the user gets a confirmation message. In case of errors like messy images or mismatches, the process retries or exits gracefully. Fingerprint authentication. To authenticate, the get fingerprint D function scans the fingerprint and matches it against stored data. One, if a match is found, the system grants access, starting the motor or stopping it if it's already running. If no match, the system denies access with a loud buzzer alert and an LCD message. This ensures that only authorized users can control the vehicle. Motor control. The motor functions start motor and stop motor control the vehicle simulation. Start motor activates clockwise rotation. Stop motor stops the motor completely. These are synchronized with fingerprint authentication to reflect real world vehicle ignition behavior. Clearing data. What if you need to reset the system? The clear all templates function does this loops through all stored IDs and deletes them from the fingerprint sensor, provides user feedback like clearing all data during the process. Why important for reusing the system in new environments? Buzzer alerts. The beep function uses the buzzer to provide audible feedback. Success, one long beep. Errors, multiple short beeps. How does it help? It enhances usability, especially in noisy environments. Now that we've gone through the code explanation, it's time to upload it to our Arduino. First, we need to connect the Arduino board to our computer using a USB cable. Next, select the correct board by going to the Tools menu, then Board, and choosing the specific Arduino model, in this case, Arduino Uno. After that, select the correct port by going to Tools again, and then Port, picking the one to which our Arduino is connected. Once everything is set, click the Upload button, the right arrow in the top left corner. Sit back and relax as the IDE uploads the code to our board. When it's done, we'll see Done Uploading appear in the IDE. Now our Arduino is ready to bring the code to life. And that's a wrap on our fingerprint-based vehicle control system. We've demonstrated how this innovative solution keeps your vehicle secure while making your experience seamless and hassle-free. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more cutting edge tech projects, and hit the notification bell to stay updated on all our latest creations. Visit our website to purchase the complete package. Browse, select items, and click on Buy Now. Fill the required fields, then securely proceed to checkout, and you're ready to begin your project journey. Explore our site now to get started. Thank you for watching our video.